Now to an exclusive here on WRAL, a leaked document shows that the state Supreme Court is quietly working on some big changes. Now, critics are calling this a political power grab by Republicans. Others say it'll make the courts more efficient. WRAL state government reporter Will Doran broke the stories with us now. Will, what are these changes? Can you explain them to us? Yeah, well, first off, Dan, these are just proposals. And if they do go through, they will give the state's highest court more power and they'll do that by weakening the appellate court. So one of the changes would enable the Supreme Court to decide which cases in the future are going to count for precedent. The other would basically make dissenting opinions a lot less meaningful at the appellate level. Now the timing of all of this, it has led to some critics questioning the court's motives. Can you explain that? Absolutely, it definitely has, because this started just days after Republicans gained control of the court last month. Now, if you'll recall, the GOP won big in the November elections, and so critics say this is a move to reverse the decisions that the GOP doesn't like. The court, as you know, hears plenty of political cases in addition to everything else. Now, others say it's less political. They say this would increase efficiency by speeding up the appeals process. You have to admit, though, people have been talking about the courts becoming more political. A lot of people saying this is one of the symptoms of it. We're seeing more, more things like this. For sure. And, you know, a lot of people will tell you that the courts have been political for a while. Um, you know, there were some voting rights cases last year that were only heard really because the Democrats on the court, uh, when they were in control, sped those up to make sure that they would be heard before the election. Um, you know, a key difference between North Carolina and many other states is that we elect our judges here and voters have spoken. Republicans have strong majorities on both courts. And that means they've got the power to make these choices. Now, this is an exclusive story. You broke this story. How did you find out about it? Well, as these things happen sometimes, a source gave me this document. Um, you know, these changes usually go through a long public process. Lawyers can comment on them. Judges can comment on them. It appears that so far there's not really the same effort this time, and so there was some concern growing in the legal community, and you know, when people think things aren't going public, uh, they bring it to us in the media. They turn to a journalist. All right, well, keep us up to date. Thank you, sir, appreciate Thanks. the report.